hey, 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 Nicola Light's here, remembering us back into our like, uh, like what we're like. Hello, Deb. How are you doing, darling? I'm good. I'm really good. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful yeah. to have a conversation with soul sisters and our beautiful souls. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I must say, actually, we've been having a really lovely conversation before we actually decided to hit the button. We've been talking for 44 minutes and 44 seconds before I just and then I looked at the clock and I was like, oh, the fours, we better get going. So, yeah. So um, apologies for the stumble in the introduction. But, um, yeah, we come on to have a little bit of a conversation. So Deb Rose, um, amazing soul absolutely amazing soul she holds a very very similar way of working to myself and we were both given the name um galactic shaman um how did you feel when i said to you deb um that you were a galactic shaman like moi <laughs> well I, I was like what is that you know <laughs> so what, what exactly is a galactic sh uh, shaman and i've heard shaman as well I don't know whether it's just where you are. I've heard shaman and, and shaman. So I think it's the same. It's all the same. It's tomato, different. tomato. Potato, potato. Potato, it's, potato. It's all the same. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think, you know, as I as I, you know, move deeper and deeper into the remembrance of who I am. Yeah. Um, you know, that kind of that word shaman it, you know I just like evolve but like, kind of into it you know mm -hmm. as as I you know more and more of it like an inner standing of 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 what it is yeah but yeah. um yeah so yeah. yeah yeah and we've we've done a few videos as well so if anybody sort of um wants to sort of listen into the previous conversations um there is a playlist with Deb Rose on as well so we've had a couple of conversations here um, on my channel um, but it's really nice to sort of align another video with you and to sort of see what's sort of been going on with you um, we've been working with each other for um, some time now and you've been so committed on your healing journey and um, you're astounding and the you know the very first time when I met you you were just sitting on the step was like what's that all about then <laughs> so from that you activated your light language and here you are now it's been such a journey isn't it beautiful journey beautiful journey like just deeper and deeper into um you know that remembrance like we keep saying that we're remembering but really it is yeah. it is like you know with each kind of layer or you know we're just moving into okay that is not who I am this is who I am and mm -hmm. um and just with each with each layer that we peel off or you know it it's it's um more and more empowering you yeah. know, and I keep saying empowering because it's, you know, it's going within, like we, we need, we have to do that. Definitely. Definitely. And I must say that you, I tell you what you do is that you're so committed on with your journey to really getting into the depths of you. And what you also do is you self analyze, which you see when the ego comes in and what you also do, which I do which is amazing, and there's a lot of people that don't do it, is actually translate um, uh, light codes as well. Um, so it's it, so we hold a very similar template, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, and that's a journey too, right? It's like when, mm. when I first ignited the light language a couple of years ago, it was, it was through um, actually songs that came in mm. and, and then through the voice, through the hands. Yeah. Um, and it was, uh, and then it just, you know, when I was ready, like, you know, divinely, everything is divinely orchestrated and timed. Then the translation came in. It's like, oh, now it's time to check this box and bring in, you know, like that ability to, to translate what the light language mm. was. So, yeah. Yeah, you know. that's such a gift when when we have an understanding of it for the ego to understand what it is. It's a little we're... bug flying around here. <laughs> <laughs> this little guy has been around me all day. So maybe <laughs> we should talk about animals. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that in a minute. But, you know, yeah, definitely, definitely. Cool. It's it's the deepening into the understanding that if we express light codes, that we are aware of what we're bringing forward, that there is a there is a an, almost like a process of setting intentions and how to receive the codes and things like that. So um, I know that you're really, really good at doing that with people. And um, 
yeah, I just really wanted to sort of like um, allow you to sort of like, you know, express yourself um, here on this video today. And you're talking about the songs, the the soul songs. Can you talk to um, everybody about that and what that involves? Yeah, so I, I call them heart healing songs, heart songs. Mm -hmm. um, and that was when I first ignited the light language. That's what was, as I say, that's what was coming in was the was the the songs. Yeah. And I've always um, I've always been like I always gravitated towards music, singing like I love singing. Um, so that was like in my template, you know, to to sing and, you know, express through voice. And it helped me tremendously in my healing because they hold such amazing frequencies like songs um so i can understand why at the beginning the heart songs came in because it was just something that i so naturally was gravitating towards was music you know in my healing mm -hmm. so and and the beautiful frequencies of those so when the heart songs come in um like they just you know they, they just come in and and out forward you know from within out and um like they're all different heart songs and the, the frequency of them like I've had I've had a person in session say like a song would come in and they'd say I know that song like it, it like I've heard that song before and and that was like wow so it just shows you like how connected we are and how you know we're not separated you know, and that, that connection. And, um, you know, she was quite emotional, mm. um, because Beautiful. of that connection, you know, um, and again, the, the heart songs, they hold such beautiful healing frequencies and they'll bring up whatever needs to be brought up to be yeah. seen. They'll bring up emotions. Um, mm. you know, it's wonderful. Yeah. It, 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 it's so I know that you, um, sorry. Um, I know that you sort of, um, on your website that people can actually listen to those heart songs, can't they? Um, that's, that's a really nice, um, sort of, um, opportunity for, for you to sort of talk about your website and what you offer. So, um, so how, so, so they can sort of go onto your website and then actually sort of listen to it on the website. How, how have you, how have you done that with your website? Yeah, so they can go, uh, so it's deborahrose.ca, that's my website, and they can okay. go on and click on to the actual videos. Mm -hmm. um, um, yeah, so there's two, there's two songs there. I do okay. have one of them on my Facebook page, like at the, at the top, I've tagged, tagged that at the top. Mm -hmm. um, so that's called Breath of Light. Then there's another song called um, Path to Freedom. Mm -hmm. um, so that's on there as well. So there's the two. So Oh, mm. the energy and the frequency of those codes. And I'm, I'm just like, I've just got full body chills, you know, will mm. and if they resonate with you and help you on your healing journey. And they're just saying to like with any heart song, um, other videos on my Facebook page or YouTube, where, where you hear those heart songs is to truly feel into those heart songs. How do they make you feel? You know, what's coming up for you? Because they're showing you, you know, what is it that you still need to, to heal within? You know, but the higher maniere of the pora, sika the kira maniere of the pora maniere of the kaide, basa tahea mosu of the pora maniere of the kira. They will give you exactly what they need to give you. So yeah, mm. I'm, I'm okay. just mm. yeah. When they came in, it, it, it's funny the the second song, Path to Freedom. I recorded that in my in my bathroom actually, and it was <laughs> just there's a there's a song dev that's coming in, and I just really needed a quiet space and that's where they led me and I just closed the door and and out it came and it's just yeah I just I it uh, I just feel emotional because I'm just so grateful um mm. for both of those songs mm, yeah that's so wonderful I know that you know sometimes a heart song will come through when I'm when I'm doing a session also when I know exactly what you're talking about 
and it's um a song that there's there's one particular one that that comes and I'm like every time I sing it I I feel like I would just want to burst into tears and it is that remembrance of soul alignment and it feels it feels like it heals um from from my position and I understand where you're coming from with all of this is is a sense of abandonment because when we come upon the planet, we feel very detached from our star lineage and our star tribe members. And soul, um, soul song, heart song, um, uh, it just sort of brings us back into unity with our with our soul tribe. That's how I sort of feel with them. It's like um, it's almost like um, you know, sort of like the 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 anthem of the of the of the country it's like a it's like do you do you get that because that's how i sort of i feel about them absolutely no that's beautiful explanation of exactly what what they do it is um and you know and, and now and again when they when they um suggest for me to you know and guide me to go and listen to to those heart songs you know it just it's it's yeah it's a bringing back you know within and and that connection to our yeah to our our family you yeah. know so it's, so it's so beautiful so if anyone's listening um and um and then wants to go and listen to those songs please go and visit um Deb's website I'll put the link below for that as well um and that that's so, so wonderful and the other thing that um we have been talking about just prior um to um recording in in the now moment so we're sort of talking about um animals and um and in the beautiful environment that we can see in your in your back so that's not that's not a backdrop that's real out oh, there that's, you know, that's what a beautiful place to live if you know oh my god i am so so grateful to uh to be here um yeah like uh, we're just such powerful creators and manifestors oh my goodness um so they're just reminding me now to do a video on that on on manifestation and creators because this this beautiful sacred space um that i guided myself to um you know it's just and and the the animals i mean i i just i just light up <laughs> when i see those little chipmunks and i'm feeding them with with the with the peanuts and 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 the connections with with them um i mean not just outside but you know inside animals as well and yeah i again maniarika to kora maniara se se kora to sa kahaya maniarika to kora matahaya jiki tikira maniarika to kora maniarika to kira to totora yes presence of the animals um is something that's so deep with within my um template to help assist animals in their healing and and communicate you know with them um yeah they're so beautiful they're such beautiful beings you know um they they have they hold such unconditional love for us you know and and so many have been sort of mistreated by people that don't feel that they have that higher level of consciousness and actually I must say that most animals have probably got more high consciousness than some humans you know and um and sort of like the the practice that you that you offer also um which I invite everybody to to sort of connect with you if, if there was a need to that you know to assist the the, the carers of at the animals to understand what it is that the animals are actually trying to communicate and then sort of allowing them to sort of like really sort of get into that. So that's sort of something that you're sort of bringing forward for people also. And it's really important that we, you know, that we honour these wonderful um, beings that are present in our lives, you know? Yeah, there's, yeah, the, the, as you say, the unconditional love and the connection we have with them. I've, I've worked with, with people whose animals are passing, they're transitioning. Yeah. Um, and and just to have that um connection and communication yeah you know um in in translating you know the communication so yeah. telling you know telling the the caregivers you know this is what they're saying to you right now and the messages that come from them you know and and they're not able to communicate 
with the with the animal and I'm bringing over you know word for word what they're saying to their caregivers and you know how much they appreciate and are so grateful for the care that they have you know gotten from them yeah and and just to you know leave this 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 reality that you know and transition with having that gift mm. um, yeah. yeah and and it's so healing mm-hmm. for so healing for the person that's actually having to let go of of their loved one um in that transition um yeah. you know because it, it that sort of heartfelt sort of connection i remember one one particular dog that that passed and i was um i had a really lovely connection with a lady that was a, a medium and she gave me a beautiful message and it really it really sort of um it really settled my mind with letting the animal go you know it had unfortunately it had to be um put to sleep but it it um it it settles the mind uh, from my perspective that that i knew that 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 dog that i had at the time that really appreciated the the kindness and the and the interaction and the funny little things that that you know that that he said to you know to uh, to you know sort of in spirit but that was done through mediumship but if you actually got the animal there and you can communicate even if it's like um behavioral problems mm-hmm. you know like if you've got a, a a dog that keeps on barking then why is it that the dog keeps barking is that then the then the human can then actually understand what it is why that yeah. is that interaction so it's very beneficial to have um somebody like yourself having those gifts and talents that come online it's beautiful yeah it it's um yeah i'm so blessed to have you know have this in my template to do this and you know help others because it just it gives them a sense of closure too right you know just the the connection um yeah it's uh, absolutely yeah it's it's beautiful it's Mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's interesting, isn't it? Is it? I have actually people actually ask me, is that, can you actually have conversations in light language? And I say, yes. There is a, like, um, when we sort of like speak in light language, when we sort of like do light language groups, um, and we sort of have these conversations, you and I, within these groups or, you know, anybody else that sort of comes in with light codes, it's just such a, it's like the mind can't actually catch up to a degree, but you know what you're talking about, but you don't at the same time, but you do, but you don't. So almost like I'm saying like, yes, Deb, you'll be, you're, you're doing so well here on this conversation. And you know that, don't you? And it's like, we have this sort of feeling into the translation of it and we can then bring the code in accordingly. And it's like, it, it's coming from a, so many multifaceted sort of like, <laughs> sort of energy when we talk in light code yeah, yeah. And, mm. and you can <clears throat> as i clear my throat shot, you you can um you, you can you, there's just this knowing yeah like this, this yeah. feeling that oh yeah. that's what to say yeah right because it, it just it, it again it presents that that code that frequency yeah right? that oh. that's just like just so beautifully put out there Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Like, any, anyway. Ah, I think Oh, here comes a heart song. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's, yeah, that's it. That's it's, so beautiful. I love it. I love having conversations with you, Deb. Um, You know, it's just, you're just such a beautiful soul sister. And I, you know, you just feel it with people, don't you? You know that you, 
you know, I've had sort of people sort of become lately with the, that wonderful um, being sort of seen a little bit through the new uh, level soul podcast and and so many people sort of seen me through that journey of it. And and there is there's this sort of absolute knowingness of like, I know you and and I get that such a heart resonance with you. Um, I just I love you. <laughs> Mm. so yeah so if, if if you feel this way as you're listening to this video about deb that there's a heart to heart con connection and you would like to um inquire maybe about a heart song or if you've got an animal that you would like to have an understanding with then go visit um deb she is absolutely amazing and i must say um, I have worked with Deb for a long time and I must say that she is astounding. So you got double thumbs up from Nicola, recommendation every single time, Deb Rose. So thank you, my lovely. Is there anything that you want to say before we leave this conversation and let people go and have go and have a cup of tea and a wee wee's? <laughs> Or maybe just a, a message. Matahai mo kukura maniere kata kira. Zoko tukura maniere kata kahi maniere kata kura. Se kata kira, mashe kata kahi. Matahai mo soko tukura. Miniete kira, mo soko tukura. Maniere kata kira, maniere kata kura. Basa kata kira. Ji kata kahi he, mo nieta tai he. Boko tukura maniere tatora maniere kata kira. This takes no translation. It's all in feeling it and the knowing. Feeling and knowing. It's so another perception like, no, of reality. We're not yeah. going to translate that because we're just moving into that feeling. Feeling, feeling, feeling. Yeah. It's the next level. It's the next level of evolution of communication. Mm -hmm. We move through the five senses and align to the heart. And that's what light codes do. You've got to push through the fear. You've got to push through. What does that mean? That's too much mind. So settle into the heart and feel. That's what light codes do. It's beautiful. Honestly. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much, Deb, for joining us here today. And thank you, everybody, for listening. Please put your comments below. Um, let us know how you feel um, with the heart-to-heart -heart connection. Um, and um, check out Deb's link below as well as my links below also. And also scroll right down onto my page. Um, uh, Deb's YouTube channel is there. She's going to start creating a few more um uh videos out there but you're also on facebook aren't you yes yeah and once again what's your website deborahrose.ca okay deb rose or deborah rose it's deborah rose deborah rose <laughs> I have the beautiful opportunity to have two names. So I'm honoring both versions. <laughs> Deborah. Deborah. D E B O R A H. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, me and Deb have an awful lot of laughs, don't we, Deb? <laughs> so we're going to continue having our laughs. Um, thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Hope you've um, enjoyed the conversation. I'm sure we'll be back again. Check out all the uh, the playlist of me and Deb. And um, yeah, we're going to go now and see you all very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye. Take care.